Hello, everyone. So this is our second sharing session for the Seven Days Mindfulness and Wellbeing with Sound. So it's great to be back and I'm very curious what Mickey is going to share with us. So first and foremost, please help me to welcome my partner in mindfulness, Cody. Hi. <laughs> so good to be back, right? It's like this yeah. girls club again, <laughs> twice in a week. <laughs> okay, so now. Let's welcome our star, our plung whisperer, Mickey. Hello, everyone. Mickey from Malaysia. <laughs> it's funny, it sounds like some beauty pageant, Mickey from Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so whoever you are that's watching us right now, welcome. Welcome our community. So please, uh, when you comment, remember to type your name, okay? Um, some, sometimes uh, we can't see who is the one making a comment. Feel free to ask any question. Grab this opportunity to ask any question for me, for Cody regards to the challenge or even for Mickey and uh, please show some love give us some hugs <laughs> so let me just do a quick logistic uh, remember to add yourself in the whatsapp broadcast group if you want to have the convenience of having the daily tasks uh, being sent to your WhatsApp. Uh, in order to do that, you have to save this number on your phone and then uh, WhatsApp this number with your name indicating your interest to be added in the broadcast list. It has to be saved on your phone, then you can receive the messages. Okay, so remember that. Okay, so with that said, uh, wow, I really got six comments here. Okay. So somebody say Kampate Miki. <laughs> you, 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 my goal actually is just to have peace of mind every day, even though just five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, because of this um, MCO COVID pandemic, right? Um, mm -hmm. Everyone is like trying their best to survive. <laughs> Me too, you know, me too. So uh, I, I work for two, two jobs. La. One is eco-friendly uh, lifestyle coach to teach people how to become an eco-friendly shopper, uh, you know, uh, everything about their lifestyle. Another one is uh, I'm selling plants, but it the plants is not like just sell like so corporate like that. It's like it is also a coaching uh, program to guide people how to be a uh, happy plant parents and uh, what plants suitable for them. That after I interview them, what well, uh, what is their lifestyle and then what is their budget? You know, um, what is the requirement for? For the plants, some people, oh, I want a plant that's not easy to die. Okay. <laughs> yeah, many people. That would be my, my, my plant. You can just like yeah. can survive by itself without my help. Oh, <laughs> help yeah. from me. So I will call myself as plant whisperer and plant healer because most of my customer, right, they will like con uh, WhatsApp me and send a picture of the half dying plant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ask me, what should I do and what can I do? So I will like give them free consultation that oh it's the soy problem or it's the pest. So we'll like coach them step by step patiently and listen to their needs and uh, just give them what they need and uh, what to do to the next. So uh, instead of just oh I sell you this one, this plant uh ten ringgit only ten ringgit. <laughs> bye bye bye. So I don't do that. I more like to connect with them to see what they need and uh, recommend them a right plan so then I can um, I can coach them day by day. Not day by day, it's like to give them hope that everyone can plan, everyone can be a, a, a happy plant parents. This is my mission <laughs> in my plant business. It's more to emphasize uh, men mental health. Mm, mental mm. health coaching. Yeah. So... so have a peace of mind is very important goal for me to start it on this mindfulness and um well-being with sound challenge the seven days challenge thank you so much for having me <laughs> welcome welcome thank you for joining us <laughs>
Yeah. Well, I guess that uh, given how you are teaching how to be a good plant parent to other people, and mm -hmm. I guess our own state of mind would be important, right? Since uh, in, yes. in this aspect. Actually, is, yeah, what is their root intention to have a plant at the beginning is very important. Some people mm -hmm. is just like, oh, everyone have plant, I want to buy one. And then no matter how much it is, just buy, but without thinking whether they they have time to take good care of the plant or whether they have knowledge or care tips, uh, correct care tips to take care of the plant. So after no. they just bought them home, you know, then, you know, it's like some people like just go, went to go to nursery. Oh, I want this, this, this. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, they all have <laughs> You know, they do not have, really have, no, I can't say uh, totally don't have the mindful uh, practice. It's just like, because they, because many people on Facebook is like sharing many beautiful plants, so beautiful that is because the plant parents they know how to take care of the plants, so they can take they can grow the plant very healthy and happily. But some people, especially for the beginner, if they do not know how to take care of the plant, but they follow people to just buy ten of the plants, for example, but they it might be possibility to increase anxiety actually. Because when you see the plant, so I work on yeah, yeah. Work I got work done. Yeah. How, how come my plant changed to yellow? And how come die already? Is it overwatering? Yeah, it's a learning journey. But um, what is your root intention at the beginning? You want to buy this plant, so mm. it's very important that you know what is the root intention and values. Mm. Are you going? Are you? Uh, are you? Uh, want to learn how to be patience and acceptance? throughout the gardening journey. This is my value. I want to learn, be patient, mm. stay grounded and mindfulness throughout the gardening journey. Mm. Yeah, and acceptance because plant is life. They have life to grow from the root and you know, blooming, but the flower, one day blooming, then they will die. This is the something about life. So we, we will, yes, yes, exactly. Even though we feel in our life sometimes, you know, but we can come up again because root it, strengthen our foundation, and we bloom again. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the message from my uh, gardening experience and journeys. That's why I, I decided to quit my permanent job after MCO and uh, jump into this uh, gardening journey to try mm. my best. Uh, yeah, try my best to, to try my best to share my, um, experience or knowledge wherever i gained before or i received from mother nature yeah that's mm. another practice of mindfulness mm. Mm. so i'm going to share a comment that we have here plants mm. are a representation of beauty have to take care be patient and be grounded and nurture them don't you just love this hartation community we have so all these fascinating people <laughs> and you're able to i think really inviting everyone to have a growth mindset to have a beginner's mind and to i think what yeah. i love about this sharing is um it, it's really an interesting twist from our typical conversation and this is really to highlight the uh, i think a way to highlight that mindfulness is really a part of life it's not really as it is a skill, but I think it's really more of your own mindset, how you want to approach right. life. And I love that your work actually is a lot about sharing how to be mindful about your plan because it is a living right. thing that you have decided that you, you are going yes. to care for it, right? So right. Um, so how has been the experience of this, um, uh, uh, this challenge of being intentional about adding more mindful moments in your daily life? How has it been for you? I feel I'm more... Um, connect to my inner self day by day. I feel more alive because um, before I, before I take this Hello, challenge. Huh? Go on, okay, before, Sorry. Before I take this challenge, uh, right? I I really really was I was really really busy to survive. Survive means I have financial challenge, so I know I need to work hard. For well, this month, so next month I have um, money to pay for the rental, you know. Mm. But that's in my mind. But doesn't mean that I have peace of mind, you know. So I I take this uh, opportunity to take the seven days uh mindfulness and well being uh this challenge to tune back my 
myself, my inner self to what I want to be. What I want to be is very important to cultivate self-love, actually. Seriously. Yes. I love this comment. <laughs> so I and it's a definite yes. Um, but th when it comes to self-compassion, there are actually three components. One of it is mindfulness. And then there is uh, uh, loving mm. kindness to yourself. And there is common humanity. So there's three yeah. components that makes up self-compassion. But I'm very curious yeah. why for you, why, why do you make that comment? Because I, I, I tend to force myself and put to, to the max to work harder and harder every day just to earn enough income to pay for my rental. But this is yeah, so who's insane. guilty? Please comment. Yes, who's guilty of this? Please comment. Yes, this is huge. <laughs> yeah, we are all guilty of it. Yeah, we are because um, my soul and my heart, my entire body already warning me. Hello, please take good care of my body, my head, my head, my face, you know, everything. It's my stomach, you know, you're hungry, you got to eat properly, you know, eat well, sleep well, you know, even laugh well, you know, not just fake laugh, <laughs> like that, you know. It's, it's so, how to say, it's, it's so not genuine to myself. You know, I always think, but how come I feel... I work harder, okay, I can see I got money coming in ready, but how come I feel very tired? Tired in, should be, should be happy, right, when you get enough income already to pay for the rental, but how come, how come I like so chaotic, like up, like, like somewhere, some part of me wrong already. Then, yeah, then I, I learned from my past, this lesson actually in December, I worked so hard. So hard until like I, I didn't sleep well, eat well, even don't know how to laugh already. Mm. I said, oh my God, this is not Mickey. <laughs> this is not Mickey, seriously. Even I do not have time to take good care of my plant. That's my plant like, because I'm a plant whisperer. My plant is like calling me, Mickey, Mickey, please water me. Mickey, Mickey, please come and see us, talk to us. Because usually I will talk to them, you know, I will uh, sing to them. It's like, my family in my, in my in my studio, but because of uh, financial challenge and worry, I put myself to the another side, like too so extreme that okay, I must work hard this month. I must work hard, work hard, work hard. If not lah, I do not have money to pay for this and that. Then, but I I screw up my body seriously. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is my lesson now. So, um, what I feel, um, what I experience, um, being intentionally. Uh, about adding my full moments into my daily life is I feel I am alive. Mm, beautiful. For coming from a plant whisperer, I don't think there's a better way to describe that. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, mm -hmm. what you are experiencing, a lot of us probably can relate to it, being lost in our thoughts, right? We have a lot of anxiety about the future, especially in this uh, volatile right. situation that we are in together. Uh, mm -hmm. We lost uh, the plot. We are not in the moment, right? And we're not in the moment, then how can we take care of um, anything, right? Whether it's plants or human beings, we can't Correct. even take care of ourselves because we are lost in that in that um, negative spiral downwards. So the power of having adding more mindful moments in our life is just very simply, you really live more, like literally live more in the present moment, the, the only place where life exists, actually not in regress from the past, or in anxiety from the future, of course, very easy to say. Right? It's a moment by moment practice. So mindfulness is really about your attitude, um, uh, very intentionally, always coming back right. to the present moment. The attitude to ourselves, not other people, to ourselves. Mm. Yeah. And also, uh, well, Gita, I hope that answered your question. Gita was asking. Uh, uh, on a comment whether you talk to your plant so uh, well. Yes. Apparently, Mickey does not just talk to her plant, she sings to her plants too. So, if you buy plants from her, you know, got all the added benefit one, got singing and talking. I also and meditate inside. together with my plants. Yeah, you hear that? She meditate with her plants. I play drum. Yeah. But I think that's pretty really amazing because the plant themselves have their own vibration and energy. If you right. meditate together with them, probably, yeah. a, I, I would think, a very interesting experience. Yeah, definitely your plants are very musical. <laughs> your plant sounds very sport and pampered. <laughs> no, they are they are more 
spot spot spotting like me, you know, like more talkative like me. So seriously, because I live, I stay alone. Sometimes if I got friends come to visit me, right, I can feel them. They are so happy. You know, oh, I got visitors. You know? really like, to your yeah. plants, right? so you can feel it. Yeah. So actually, they are ready, right, to go to stay with their new plant daddy and plant mommy. I prepare them actually. They are uh, wow. yeah, here. Here just is your temporary home, yeah. I take good care of you, and then you attract your your new daddy and mommy. So, uh, then I will send you to them. They they know one, they know one. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so <laughs> now let's move on to the sound therapy part. What was your experience yeah. like? Um, <clears throat> I remember uh all the video. I mean, from day one to day seven. Uh, uh, the the beginning is the same. Is to 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 sing ah uh, to relax our our muscles everything that's really really into my mind because usually people sing ah uh, ah uh, it's like so negative one but this time I really feel I uh, this is so soothing and really like uh like I mean make my body entire body muscles lightened mm. this is this is thank you Cody <laughs> the, uh, Seriously, usually people people say, "All right, uh, it's like one of the example is to respond people after some someone call them the ah ah yes ah ah." But this sound healing start from ah uh, uh, is a really vibe. I feel the vibration here, the truth here. Hmm. You know, it's, it's like, like it's very open, right? That's my yeah, experience. Uh, to, yes, you know, open to open your mouth. Ah, open, open, ah, okay, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one is, is very good for me to, to really like, uh, can feel my, my vibration on my truth and get myself ready for the, the, the sound therapy, uh, every day. So, um, but, um, it's a very great experience and amazing, um, experience, I can say, because I can really feel the, all the, stress right tension even though not from myself from the environment from the people who work together or from zoom for example i can really like release all this stress tension inside this all over from my entire body mm. yes and then i can feel my heart open and open open and open wow <laughs> wow the long time i didn't feel that seriously the long time it, it so sounds like I the sign kind of release huh? Really Correct. Strong. It's like because mm -hmm. when you anxiety, right, your heart will close or lock up mm. unconscious. It will lock up like don't want to talk to people. I just feel tired. I want to sleep only. You know, mm. but when after I do this um sound therapy practice, just now I, I restart again, you know. I told you right, I rest before the one hour before this live, right? I play and practice uh the sound therapy from day one to day seven to ref to to practice again and see what is the uh, mm -hmm. feeling yeah because um because the, if day one i practice i might uh, forget already it might different with today's feeling so i want to be present whatever happened now is now past is past so i mm -hmm. i do again yeah this is my my mindfulness practice as well past yes. is past today is today present yeah. is present Tomorrow yeah. you practice tomorrow is different already. So do okay. not use whatever you experience seven uh, today is seven day of the seven day. Okay. Uh, whatever we practice six days ago, right? Doesn't mean can apply for today the the latest practice. So yeah, this is what mm. uh, the sound healing bring me. Oh, creativity. I remember what is creativity, right? Uh, I can't remember the tone already, sorry. The, is, this is my creativity part. That, oh, why not I start again from day one? to today the latest one see how i feel what's the difference oh really feel so much different because mm. day one you just practice one sound therapy ma. day two one day three one but now today i combine from day one to day seven so much different everybody you guys really can try at home mm. serious thank you Kodi. oh <laughs> well, well yeah. um i think many of us always carry a lot of stress and tension and it's very normal uh, especially now mco you no know, so, mm. so much anxiety and worries you know uh are we able to pay the bills you 
know, uh, what? We cannot go out again? We cannot eat out again? So many of this is in our head. Cannot long start again, Chinese New Year. Ah, you know, all this, you know, and it's making a lot of us unhappy. I notice in my family, uh, my friends, mm. the people around me. So they get angry, they get upset. And mm. uh, when all this start to rise higher and higher, what happened is that your body would retain all these emotions. And right. sometimes you may not realize it. Your body language, it may even hunch like this. Here will be hunch. Yeah. Here will be, you, you, you wouldn't realize it at all. So uh, my sound therapy is giving uh, those who are willing to try it to release all that tension, you know, that mm. anger, that unhappiness. And next thing you know, like what you share, you feel that, oh, my throat seems to be opening up. Eh? My heart, my chest seems to be opening up. That is the purpose of the, uh, the sound therapy, is to help release all this tension that we mm. unconsciously absorb within us. Free mm. ourselves more. Why must mm. we have all this? Yes, uh, now times are not easy for everyone and there's so much worries and so forth. But that doesn't mean we need to be lower. We need to be down. We, we, mm. we have um, unhappy feeling about the future. No need. There are changes and we need to adapt to the change, whether we like it or not. So this is what they call the new normal. So we are to adapt it and eventually all this will be over. Mm. Give yourself the opportunity to free all this tension so that when we are more free, yeah, we have more to give to ourselves, to others. And at the same time, you may have even newer ideas for new businesses and so forth. You never know. I mean, who knows? Maybe next week, the challenger will say that, oh, uh, according, thanks. I uh, have a new idea for a business. Oh, okay. I don't worry. <laughs> I want to <laughs> Yeah. Mm, thank you for sharing. Mm, I'm glad that uh, um, the, the first thought that comes to my mind is that um, we really name the challenge uh, appropriately. It's mindfulness and well-being with sound. Yeah. This seems to be the experience of uh, our challenger. They are ex even those who is experiencing this for the very first time. They are noticing, hey, this isn't um, as strange as uh, it seems. And once they get over the initial, you know, skepticism, they are starting mm. to reap the benefits of it. So I'm. Um, Loving how we are being also so creative, yeah, combining mindfulness uh, with sound yeah. therapy. Yeah, so you have that amplified um, benefit I because know. it actually goes so well together, right? Mindfulness and uh, sound yeah, therapy. It leads to increase our clarity in mind. Uh, I can say this mm. seven days challenge is clarity in mind. Mm. For me, la. And also, thanks, Mickey, for sharing this tip. So uh, all of us have been experiencing the daily challenge and each challenge, so it was only like three to five minutes. Mm. So this is another idea, uh, which is uh, also from uh, yesterday, we were discussing a lot of different ways we can uh, take this seven days challenge and put it into our daily life, install it into our daily life. So this could be one way when it comes to the sound therapy. Yeah. When you have the time, when you have that 15 minutes, so I don't really think it takes that long. You can just group the the sound exercises together and make it one long like one longer session, and um, the experience will be amplified as Mickey has yes. shared. A very different experience. Yes, very beautiful. It's very beautiful. You will love yourself more seriously. Not love other. You love yourself more. Beautiful. Serious. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Mm. yeah. So, Cody, there is an there is a question for you. Oh, um, does sound therapy help to relieve the throat? chakra uh yes yes i i do have uh some feedback from others who practice sound therapy with me uh, they feel that their voice become more freer less tight uh, the person who shared that with me let me think uh it's because she always tend to suppress her voice so when she tried to stop her real voice from coming out because she keep on no, uh, like agreeing, but she don't really agree with that person. It's more like resentment. Is to keep peace. It's like yes, yes, but at the back of her head, she's not agreeing with the idea. But she just suppressed her voice. 
So what happened is that her entire neck here, here and especially the chest, will be very tight. And sound therapy can help release that tension. And based from what she shared, uh, when the tension has been released, she could feel the relaxation and she even feel more um, encouraged to speak up. For some mm. reason, uh, the uh, sound therapy have that kind of impact on her and she feel more courage, more courageous to speak up as herself. I mean, which is good, which is good. Mm. Mm. This reminds me of uh, uh, my Warrior Goddess training with uh, Hida Ash Amara. One of the uh, lessons is about the voice, about releasing your voice. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, what I'm hearing really reminds me of some of the teachings in that lesson where basically it's owning your voice and allowing your voice to be heard, right? Instead of suppressing it, um, instead of not acknowledging what your heart desires, you, 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 you press it down because you want acceptance from other people. But sometimes we also have, need to have that acceptance of ourselves, accept that this is what I want. And so yeah. I, I, I have to very lovingly, respectfully uh, vocalize what I want. But, uh, you know, whether it's sound therapy or any other kind of training that you do to help mm -hmm. release the throat chakra is powerful yeah. because then that's when you can really stand your position in the world. You know, when you're able to and you have no fear about releasing your voice. So I think a lot of the things that we do in life uh, can help support that. And sound therapy is such a simple way to yeah. start that process. Mm, yes, agree. <laughs> so, okay. what was the um, so let's come to the challenging part, Vicky. So, what was the biggest challenge or task for you when it comes to the mindfulness and sound aspect? And how did you manage to how do you manage those those aspects? Uh, the biggest challenge is time management. Time management, seriously. Mm, yeah. I, I think everyone uh, would be able to relate yeah. to that. <laughs> yeah, but because everyone actually have only have 24 hours, everyone's the same, it's equal. So why people can do that, why I can't? So I got to think of it, it's because of my attitude. So I wow. changed my attitude, yeah, I changed my attitude to give myself a permission, sit down 15 minutes, even though it's just two hours before uh, my sleep, I will on and practice. If Although your, you, you sent us the video in the morning, but, um. I stay focused on what I need to do within the, I mean, the four hours I need to do my uh, eco-friendly lifestyle coach online, Zoom, this and that. So mm -hmm. another four hours I need to take care of the plants and another one hour I must go for exercise jogging to, to connect to the mother nature. That's the, that's the my, um, can say my daily uh, routine. Uh, I, I must get, get myself to do exercise to make my body my entire body cells active <laughs> not, not active in talking you know active to to do some workout to sweat you know to to ground all the excess energy from the zoom you know uh, yeah wherever just go to and listen to the bird chirping you know so when the food the, the wind blowing on my face wow so comfortable <laughs> all this for free you know it's free no no yes. need to pay <laughs> so just go out and exercise so um so uh, after everything i had my dinner and then uh give myself i changed my attitude seriously change attitude really really is the key bullet to save our life change attitude that's good change attitude <laughs> change attitude yeah just two hours before or one hour before i i read your message and practice the uh, uh, sound therapy uh every day lah. if really today i can't do do that right i will compile and do two different cell therapy. Yes, that's change attitude. Because um, I remember one one word, uh, one phrase that I always keep in mind is like, um, change my mind, change my life. That's it. That's how I uh, overcome all the challenges. Change my mind, change my life. No, no need to think for the goal uh, for tomorrow or, or like how one week, two week, one month or, or one year later. Just set a goal for just today or this two hour. What I want to do right now, be present. Okay, now I want to listen to South Travi. That's all. Okay. 
That's it. It's so simple way to face the challenge because when we think, oh, this is challenge, I got to fix the problem, but actually it's not. I I remember got one um music therapy uh, teacher, uh, uh, Dr. Indra. Ah. I, I used to, yeah. I used to uh I used to ask her a question. Uh, no, I used to attend a seminar that uh she conducted uh for special kids, how to take care of special kids, you know. So the first the first sharing, right, she she say is like um most of the teacher or parents will uh feel so tired or so stressed, right, or emotional, uh, is because they always think that okay, I always need to fix the problem for the special kids. I'm helping you to fix the problem. Uh, this, but Dr. Indra said, actually, why not we change our mind that I am here to empower you? This word is really, really changed my life, you know. I, even though I changed my attitude towards my father, my father uh, was a drinker and I grew up from violence family. family. Yeah, I I really like always think that how why I always need to want to this world to fix my family problem. But because of Dr. Indra, this word, you are here to empower them. So then I changed my oh yeah. I am here to empower my dad to come out from his guilty thoughts. This really helped me, not even for my for Mickey, you know, it's for my family relationship as well. So when I come to this, um, how to, uh, what is the biggest challenge to practice this uh, day one to day seven, uh, even though just five minutes or 15 minutes is just change my mindset, change my attitude. Okay, this gonna benefit me. No mm. one can help me. I on, only myself can help me because I am the master of my mind, my heart, my voice, my body, and my emotion. No one, even though if you guys send me the seven day challenge uh, therapy, la, for self therapy, if I myself do not want to read your WhatsApp, do not want to uh, play the video, do not want to practice, nothing happened. It's all come to ourselves. You know, we holding our remote control. You know, we can press, change my set, pause, go back. You know, everything is about ourselves. That's all. My sex attitude. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for listening. <laughs> um, Vicky, what you have shared is really empowering. And uh, first and foremost, thank you for your vulnerability. You're sharing a lot of very private stuff, private stories, yeah. and how you have grown and evolved. Yeah, and I, I also really think has... <laughs> your energy is also very um, infectious, very inspiring. Um, you know, mm -hmm. your attitude and, you know, like... We have the remote control, and exactly, yeah. but I think so often we forget we yeah. have the remote yeah, control, right? Remote control. So don't don't turn to other people because beautiful. Yeah, you you are the remote control owner. Why you pass to people to please people to to listen to people but suppress your true voice, your own thoughts? Why? Indeed. So I think like um, this seven days challenges and in fact all our seven days challenge is one of the way you can take back control because right. challenge exactly. means take action. It means uh, you have to do something every day. It's not passively just sit there and listen to what Joy has Sorry. to say. It's not a lecture. Uh, you have to take action and that's why this year I decided on seven days challenge i wanted a more actionable uh, way to help people because like you say i'm i'm here to solve your problem i'm not he i'm not here to solve your problem i'm here to empower you i can point you to the direction i can send you the messages i can create this whatsapp group i can find my collaborator but at the end of the day it's you you have to take the action i i really place all the condition that uh, that's necessary for growth uh, but the choice remains yours. I don't have the remote control. You have your own remote control. And oh, yeah. uh, I'm, that's why I'm really proud of all the challenges who, despite their own hectic schedule, they decide, I want to grow, I want to evolve. I will take this seven days challenge, even if uh, I have a busy schedule. I think it's all about mindset. Um, this time issue, oh my God, now I have to do like one or two extra tasks every day because I joined this challenge. If you have that, like you know this is a problem this is an additional thing i need to do then i guess um you're not going to move the needle too much but if you have a 
uh, choose a different kind of attitude, uh, be excited. Wow, I wonder what I'll learn from doing the task today. I wonder who I'll become after seven days of doing this. If you have that kind, you will choose that kind of mindset and attitude. Then, wow, you know, what might be different? Correct, serious. Everyone only have 24 hours. I do not have an extra. You do not have less equal 24 hours. It's so I want, to, uh, yeah. I want to show you how uh, the community really appreciate you and to reinforce what I've mentioned earlier. This is an uh, acknowledgement mm -hmm. for you. Yes, ah, the community so makes so it raw and real, very refreshing. Yes, I think that's uh, uh, our community is really having all this amazing energy. Supporting one another, not just with our words and action, but also with our energy. So thank you, Miki, for showing up this way so everyone can benefit from it. And someone comment, growth mindset. That's the way, indeed. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so what was most uh, interesting and in insightful for you doing this challenge? I, I feel more grateful and grateful, actually. Oh. Every single little thing, I feel more grateful. Yes, that's a common comment that we've been getting uh, in general about uh, biggest challenge. A few, just a general sense of increase in uh, yeah. appreciation of their environment and stuff. And you mentioned, uh, Mickey, about the day three task. Appreciate your hands. Ooh. How was it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Day three is about to look at my hands. Appreciate you know? your hands. I appreciate my hands. I did for a long time. I didn't really like. Feel my, you know, because I always use my hand to dig the soil, you know. To yes, yes. Yeah, Especially and, for you, you're very hands on. Your work is very hands on. Yes, yes, and actually, my finger, fingers, right, got some hurts my finger because uh, I remember on Saturday, right? Oh, Saturday or Friday? I remember it. Two days ago, yeah, I I helped my customers for the plant healings maintenance to change a big pot of a big tree to a bigger and bigger pot so i need to like use my hand to dig and feel the soil the, the yeah. root everything and you know uh slowly slowly i feel my hand like bleeding like like when i dig inside oh. yeah then it's so painful my four fingers actually this man standing left finger so painful <laughs> it's because inside got few pieces of glass oh you know? Oh, yeah. oh, oh my oh, god, I saw, okay. but I didn't really like make myself like a stretch. It's just like I can feel it's something wrong here. So so mm -hmm. I use another and I changed my way to to pick out the the old pot, the tree from the old pot, and then I use the water like to clean, to clean, to clean, and only see few pieces of glass inside the soil. It's so, if I don't be present, grounded enough, right, I sure will mm -hmm. get her. If I don't patient, like, oh, I must do it faster, faster. I want to go faster, faster, so tired. Then mm -hmm. if I really think of that, not present enough, not mindfulness enough, right, I will hurt myself. Then I look at my hand that day. Seriously, I look at my hand. I say, I'm so sorry, my fingers, I hurt you. Because it's really painful. It's really painful. Now I still can feel painful, but uh, because of a sound heat therapy, help me to release all the tension, <laughs> the, ah, the yeah, the the memory, the memory, the trauma. Yeah, this one. Uh, I need to share this one. This is the uh, not inside but experience. The the sound therapy really can help me to release the trauma from my fingers. Now I feel not so painful. Still have a little bit, but not like the first and second day. My head even swollen, you know, it's like I can feel my whole head is like got trauma. Seriously, it glass, you know, it's like somehow I dig into the soil, maybe got pests of bacteria that I didn't know. So this is, thank you for mindfulness practice, seriously. I really like pay, be present and thank you for the gardening journey. Like teach me, stay grounded and patient when you do the digging. Yeah. Mm. Even though you, uh, I can't do fast because um, must no check on the soil. You cannot hurt the uh, the root and then everything have to like really patient, soft, you know, gentle everything. If I don't don't have patient enough, for sure I will hurt myself. See, I hold my remote control, be patient and and do the the re reporting service. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, it seems like that challenge came at the right time for you. Right? Yes, seriously. 
Thank you so much. I love to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that turned out to be a very popular, I think one of everyone's favorite. Uh, I didn't expect it, mating the breast uh, cancer survivor also because mm. uh, uh, she was frustrated because uh, of the, the treatment. But then because of the day's task, appreciate your hands, then she got reminded it was my hands that was the reason why I found out in the first place, yeah. right, that I have breast cancer and my hands have grown and evolved together with my life experience. I was so beautiful when she mm. when she shared that. Um, so that, um, and yesterday also during the sharing session, again, it, you know, everyone suddenly realizing, hey, this thing, I take for granted all my life. I take for yes, granted correct. all my life. Yes, right? correct. Yeah, so I think My that that's the general tone of appreciation and, and gratefulness, uh, one of the things that has arisen from uh, our experiencing the challenge uh, as a community mm -hmm. in, in general, individually and collectively. So I think that's a really beautiful space for all of us to be in together. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, Miki, like, how do you mm -hmm. intend to continue with your in your mindfulness journey and in your well-being with sound journey? I put I make it like my daily habit already. Ah, okay. Yeah, just that simple. There's no forcing, no intentionally I must do that. It's just my habit already daily. I think again it's the intention, it's the mindset, right? Like just yeah. choosing to deciding to. Yeah. Alright, it's like breathing, eating, showering, drinking, walking, smiling. <laughs> just make it like a habit. Then we we'll, you will uh we won't feel we forced to do that because um okay I can share because I I want I have a mindset attitude to myself like because I want to be a better person and a person that have true joy in my life not a big joy that smile like hi so corporate you know because I will smile. <laughs> Or when you chit chat with the neighbor, even though you feel, oh, this guy, this lady is so annoying, but you say, yeah. <laughs> but for me, it's like, uh, I will, I will give myself permission to practice true joy. I don't know how many years ago, like, since I know Cordelia, like, seriously, uh, because I carry a lot of uh, family burdens, you know, uh, my my parents' words, you know, their expectation on on my shoulder, even though not belongs to me, also. I consciously carry in my entire body, but I choose my I choose to uh, let go to be a happy Mickey. Uh, to this year, I'm forty one. I want if I can un live until eighty years, right? Already half, half of my life already. <laughs> so I want to be a really a true joy and happy person in my entire life. You know, so this is a very big goal for me. Not not earn like I want to be a millionaire. No. <laughs> That doesn't mean can make me happy, you know, because I don't know if I really have a, have one million, what can I do? What should I do? What to do? I also don't know. So so it's, it's like, it doesn't mean that you have one million, then you are happy. But I mean, for other people, maybe, yes. But for me, uh, for me, it's just enough for uh, living expenses or from some emergency, then beautiful already. Because another part of me, I want to have a happy soul. So that I can spread more happiness, joyful, you know, beautiful uh, message to the world, to the people around me, like, not to the world, like, you know. I change one piece, person world, then he or she change another person world, then everybody can change the world already. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. Well, Miki, you're definitely already changing the energy in the Hartation community. So thank you. Like, you are definitely making a difference here right now and even for those who's watching this sharing session later so thank you so much for your energy i have to say i truly love the sound of your laughter it sure <laughs> sounds like true joy to me it doesn't sound fake uh, thank you uh, actually it's so really what, like make it simple just make it a happy you know when you feel what to do then you do when you don't feel what to do don't do that's it yes i think uh remind me of the saying with just three simple words follow your bliss yeah and we instinctively the heart knows what you want mm -hmm. you don't really have to yeah. go around asking everyone you just ask your heart what is it that you want yeah. so um as we wrap up miki what would be your advice for people who is 
keen, curious about mindfulness, but for whatever reason, uh, still have not gotten started. Uh, what would be your advice for people who wants to now embark on their mindfulness journey? I will, I will, I will share that um, the first question: Why you want to practice mindfulness? This why is very important. If you do not know what is your why, right? It's very difficult for you to move on. First of all, you've got to understand why I take this challenge or started my fullness journey. Because I know my why already. I want to be a true, happy person with true joy and true laughter. So I know already. That's why become, I don't feel forceful. But uh, I, I, I very enjoy the whole progress, the whole mindfulness practice progress. Yeah. So, um, and after we, after I, I, okay, I can say, I can recommend that when you started, even though you do not know why, lah, you do not have the why yet, but slowly, slowly, you will find your why. Mm -hmm. Maybe two, first thing you can't, what is your why? It's okay, just ah, uh, uh, ah, <laughs> Uh, you know, and then do do you know? I remember the first day challenge style therapy is after R is do do another another minute is do 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 it do 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah do 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 it do do yeah, yeah, and then it's that way also can <laughs> It's so simple, ma. Just do it. Just do it. Don't think too much. Just do it. You know, I'm not copying Nike slogan, ah, but it's really <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just do it. So you will start that. Okay, I try the next day. Next, I can't remember the second day, but some some sound therapy, I still can remember the phone name. Like, Mimi, la la, ma la. So easy. It's not so difficult yes. for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> It's like really I feel I feel like I back to my childhood, you know. It's really mm. I, I feel like I back to childhood in my choir because I I I I I, I joined choir I don't know how many years already. It's like really travel around the Malaysia for competition. Like wow. oh, la 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 what well, really like help me to recall all the beautiful memories. So be a wild child, you know, la 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 together, do it, do it, la la la. <laughs> it's just simple. So just start the mindfulness journey. You will love yourself day by day. And you will be, you will know how to express gratitude to every single little thing, even though just a bottle of water, you know. You, you, when you wake up, oh, I'm so grateful that I still have drinking water, a clean mm -hmm. drinking water yes. to to nurture, rejuvenate our body. Mm. That's simple. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so, simple. well, Gita is showing her love for you. She's saying really? uh, you are beautiful, happy soul. <laughs> I'm sending love to you, to Gita. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm glad, Gita, you feel the same way. I think at the end of the day, it's really simple. Follow your bliss. But I think yeah. uh, following your bliss, the cultivating mindfulness really will be helpful so you're not lost in the past or the future again and we, we do that so much so often so it, we really need to make effort to bring ourselves okay. back into the moment and it's really a moment by moment effort every day you wake up you just making that choice i will be yeah. as mindful as i can today i think that's a powerful way to take back the control of mm -hmm. your life live in the mm -hmm. present that's the only place life yes. exists in the present do not live into the past or do not project the past even though one hour ago is past yes it's over and yeah the only I present one, one, i can share one more experience it's a true life story from my a new friend of mine is a malay guy i just knew him because she just opened a mini market uh downstairs in my condo um we talk about mindfulness I asked what happened to him. Uh, he said he got two times accident, two car really like, cannot say totally lost, but really like need like one car need five to six thousand to fix to repair. Then I asked how come you how come you can got accident happen in just two weeks time? 
then I, I I really I talk to him, then I can see whole whole of his um energy and aura is so busy, noisy and anxiety. Be then he shared with me because he, when he was driving, he cannot focus. He will think of a lot of problem, not present oh. enough. That's why when car come in or when the car in front stop, then he just bang, crash on that. So this is really mindfulness, right? Can save our life. Definitely, yes. Um, we are this on, on autopilot. Yeah, this is a classic example of driving. Ah, on autopilot. Yeah, yeah, we do yeah. lots of things on autopilot. We shower, we go. Um, it, it, it's important uh, because uh, the, the brain needs to conserve energy. So it's mm. hard, it habits helps us. But uh, we still need to make effort to be mindful. So this is what happens mm. when you're not mindful when you're driving. Driving is dangerous when you go yeah. on auto, like, auto mode. But I mean, I think everyone's guilty of that. And this is the price. Right. And he's paying a literal price here. In fact, in, in some ways, it's probably a small price to pay already because uh, worse things could have happened. So it sounds mm. like uh, he, he should be joining our seven days mindfulness mm. challenge because the tasks are staggered slowly, small, and it grows a little bit in difficulty every day. Uh, my motivation for doing this mindfulness challenge is when I started on my mindfulness challenge, there wasn't much uh, help I, I felt that really that makes sense because every time you say mindfulness, people say, oh, just go meditate. Just go meditate 10 minutes. That's not very easy. But to me, it's not easy at all. Like you make it sound very easy. But from not knowing what mind, having a mindful life is to sit there and meditate, that's a huge gap, actually, even if it sounds like it's nothing, even if it's just sitting there for five minutes, it's almost Im mission impossible for a lot of people. So um, I, I struggled that way when I first started my mindfulness journey. And, and, and But that's what most people would say, oh, just go and meditate. But like, um, my mind is like, how, what, where do I begin? I cannot even sit still, how to meditate. It's a big jump. So learning from my own experience, my motivation in doing the seven days mindfulness challenge is to help you fill that gap between no, no experience of practicing mindfulness to having that first meditation. That's why you realize today, day seven, ah, now I'm inviting you after six days of practice. I think you can try do five or 10 minutes of proper sit, right, proper meditation. Yeah. Uh, I didn't do it at day one because I'm trying to nudge you. Oh, so this is what it's all about. It's, I think, hard to explain to people what is mindfulness. You need to experience it for yeah. yourself. And I think you're being like scaffolded the six days. Then day seven, I say, okay, now let's try. Even if you can't make it, it's okay. You're, you're already making progress. The very fact that you do all the tasks every day, it's small win all the way. One day, you will be able to sit there for five minutes and do a guided meditation. It's something to look forward to and not a problem to solve, right? Like a boring uh, Mickey's uh, attitude, right? Like it's it's a choice, a mindset. So I think mindfulness is... Um, it's, it's, have so many benefits and also if you don't do that there, there are results there are negative consequences mm -hmm. and uh, you don't want to be one of those people who when you grieve your last you have so many mm -hmm. regrets i wished i wish i did this i wish i did that i think uh, just a simple fact if you can have more mindful moments in your daily life today i will be more mindful that's all right Tomorrow will take care of itself. When tomorrow comes, then tomorrow is today. Yeah. Then today, I'll be more mindful. And that way, when you have your last breath, I don't think you have any issue. You'll be like, ah, oh, I've lived my life. I've always been in the present. That's, that's okay. the only place life exists. So thank you, Nikki, for sharing with us your seven days journey and uh, lots of interesting stories. And thank you for <laughs> shining bright and I uh, love hearing the sound of your laughter. It's awesome. We also had some uh, planting tips. So you know if you want to get a plant or learn, learn how to <laughs> start to make sure the plant don't die, which I probably need help from you. Yeah, Nikki yes, yes. is... The plant whisperer, you can, you can uh, get mindfulness tips with your plants from yeah. me. I will ask you, what is your root intention? <laughs> uh, root intention, <laughs> I love that. You know, we always say, what is the root problem? But it's, uh, uh, this is the first time I'm hearing people say, what is your root intention? Uh, what a beautiful phrase, right? I think maybe I might yeah. snipe it from you. <laughs> oh, actually, I, it's, um, I learned from Cordelia's husband, Kat. They are my meditation teacher. They always uh, emphasize that um, root intention and values. 
in our daily life. Wherever we say, wherever uh, we think or we behave or we react, what is our root intention and what the emotion bring out. And when the emotion rise up, so what is the value behind? Then we know what is our root intention. This is mindfulness, mindfulness practice as well. Yeah, mm, when definitely. We know, yeah, when we know our root intention, then actually we, we, we would not create a lot of unnecessary troubles for us. Mm. It mm. reminds me of the Buddhist view as well, the Buddhist mm. teaching about having the right view. Um, having the yeah. right attitude right. and having the right motivation, right? Uh, okay. you, are, you, are, you can be motivated by the wrong thing. So what yeah, is the, what the is the motivation right. behind, your, again, your root intention? Right? So for Buddhists, is having that right mm -hmm. motivation to push you forward. Why are you doing this meditation? Why, why are you deciding to be more mindful? What is the yeah. root intention? See, I'm All a fast right. <laughs> What is the root intention behind it? <laughs> so awesome. So, well, this is uh, an opportunity, I guess, uh, we can share that actually since this day seven, what's going to happen is we are going to challenge you to level up. Let's do round 2.0. We're going to repeat the challenge to the same task because you, you only did it one time. Actually, the real value and the compound effect, the benefits are all in the second week and beyond. That's when you can really start seeing lasting effect of mindfulness. So it, it, don't don't just walk away. I mean, I'm sure you have benefited from the seven days together. But hey, let's do it again together. Let's level up. If you can do it for seven weeks, what is another seven? Uh, sorry, seven weeks. If you have done it for seven days, what is another seven days or seven weeks? Who knows, right? Like the goal here <laughs> is to be mindful period, right? For as long as we can for the rest of our lives. So now we have a community doing it together. We want to invite you do it again for one more week. And I will still support you I'll still be sending you WhatsApp every morning with the daily task. Uh, I'll still, uh, we will still be scheduling the task on the Hartation group. And we still have two more sharing sh uh, sessions scheduled next week. So you can learn from even more people about their mindfulness journey. So please don't stop here if you can um, continue this journey with us. So uh, please this time, get more people to sign up so you have reaped some of the benefits. Uh, please share the love. A lot of effort has been, uh, uh, we, we use a lot of effort to create, facilitate this free challenge for you. This is the last time I'm offering it free. So remember to get your friends and family, people you care about, right? Get them, empower them to support themselves. This is a real life skill. Okay, so get your friends, family to sign up tinyurl.com slash mindful heart. Okay, get more people into the community. Let, let's grow and evolve together, supporting one another and have fun together, right? Like what uh, Mickey said, let's all have a joyful living together. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, she loves this. I love this also, by the way. <laughs> all can, all come, come. Everything can. Yeah, okay. Lie, 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 lie. <laughs> Okay, so thank you, Miki, so much for making time. I know this has been a busy week for you, cleaning the house. Thank you for mm -hmm. making time, for sharing your wisdom, your experience, and really, you, just your simple presence and energy. Uh, we have all been blessed by it. Thank you, Miki. Thank you, Cordelia, <laughs> for joining us again. Uh, so let's all end with uh, our hesitation pause. Okay. Okay. Can see? Okay, yes, can see. Smile. <laughs> okay, thank you everyone for joining in. Okay, please uh, watch this, share this, and uh, see you next week again for another round of seven days of mindfulness together. Okay, have a great mindful week ahead, everyone. Bye. Bye. Stay safe, everyone. And Gongxi Pachai. Yeah. <laughs>